I lost my best friend. But this time, I'll do anything to bring him back. Stop being so goddamn emotional and start working. Jeez, all right. Don't pay Donald too much attention because his feathers are always ruffled. <laughs> But Axel, why did you decide to come with us to Twilight Town? First of all, it's Lee. And second of all, I'm here to find some way to save Roxas. Have you ever wondered who would win in a fight? Big Bird or the Cookie Monster? If so, then come to the Twilight Town Theater to see the epic showdown. Big Bird versus the Cookie Monster? Let's go! Well, so much for saving Roxas. You know what I think? He's probably afraid of fish and watches you do with him again. I guess he's in denial. Come on, Axel! Let's get a move on! Oh, shit, my bad. Are you having such a shot to see Roxas? Don't be ridiculous! Of of course I don't. <laughs> well, convincing. Let's just go, okay? Five minutes later. Holy crap. Big Bird versus Cookie Monster was pure epicness. I never would have expected Big Bird boxing like that. Like he should have knocked out the Cookie Monster multiple times. And to think those cookies were so sharp that they could slice off buildings. Forget about the fight. The build-up to that battle was incredibly well done. Damn. If the movie was that good, I gotta check it out. Holy Jesus! Hey guys, we're back. Welcome back, guys! Ah, it's that asshole, Axel! Think the name calling is a bit much, don't you think? Shut the fuck up! Last time you kidnapped Kyrie right in front of us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Kyrie was our friend, and you kidnapped her against her will. Listen, I can explain. How would you feel if we kidnapped your friend, huh? Oh wait, you probably don't have any friends to begin with. Now that's not true. I'm friends with Roxas and- Don't you dare speak his name! Even if you were friends, you probably threw him under the bus after having no further use for him anymore. In whatever dream you had to try and salvage the relationship with Roxas, forget about it! It's just a lost cause. You hear me? You lost the right to have Roxas as your friend. I may be a savage touch, but even for me, that was ruthless! Hayner, Pence, Alette, listen. Axel has changed. He's a good guy. He truly cares about Roxas and has a great friendship with Kyrie. Hayner, no matter what you said, my main objective hasn't changed. I came here for one main purpose, to bring Roxas back. Got it memorized? <laughs> Out of respect for Sora, I'll let you tag along, but I'm watching you. Alright, now that everyone has been settled, let's head to the Ansem's computer. There's something you guys need to see. Many, many minutes later. It took some time, but I finally hacked Ansem's code to enter the dagger world. If Roxas was originally put in this dagger world, then maybe there might be some remnants regarding to Roxas' real whereabouts. That's awesome! So... That means we can enter the Data Twilight Town world, right? Yup, but some of us will need to stay behind to manage the world and make sure nothing gets messed up. Guys, I've been deep within this Data Twilight Town before. It's a dangerous place where things can just change out of the blue for no goddamn reason. I think we should take a moment to prepare before we enter the Data Twilight Town world. Ollie, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you just said. I know what he said, but he should really shut his trap. I bet he's just delaying the inevitable going into the Data world. Maybe there's something nefarious in there he's not telling us. Now that's not true. I don't know what to expect in that world. Damn it! We gotta go check outside right now! No! We need to split up! You guys go to the Dark Twilight Town. We'll check what the heck is going on out there. But we can't just leave you behind like this. We don't got time for this. Sure, do be Axel. Get over here now. Axel, I still don't trust you. But you better find some way to bring Roxas back. Or else I will never forgive you. Got it memorized. <laughs> memorized indeed. Oh no. The computer. The dagger wolf. What is this? Dark electricity coming out of it. Oh my god, I think it's corrupting the dagger wall. Pigs, we gotta believe in them for now. Let's go up and check what the heck is going on in here. Breaking news! And 
Max and the Seek of Darkness is thrashing the mansion because he couldn't get the last ticket to see Big Bird vs. the Cookie Monster. Now, of course, the rest of the events that occurred with Hanger doing that crazy kick, along with saving Anson from the Vise and Vexen becoming a good guy, also occurred. Now, how the heck is Vexen a good guy now? Because after seeing the violence that occurred in the Big Bird vs. the Cookie Monster, it scored him for life. To the point where he decided to change his ways. Meanwhile... So this is the day to Twilight Town. I think we need to get outside of the mansion and get to the train station. What makes you say that? Well, if we're here for Roxas, we always had a special spot where we met at the top of the train station to share sea salt ice cream. If there's any clues about Roxas, it would have to be there. Wow, nobody is... My guess is that because this world technically doesn't exist and nobody's don't exist, this would be their home world. Well, whatever the reason may be, let's take them out. Five minutes later. Axel, all right. Fight, fight, fight. Who are you? Don't tell me you forgot about me. Come on, it's me. You know, Roxas. No way. How's this possible? And who the heck are those three? Roxas! It's really you! I looked everywhere for you! How, how did you end up here? What happened? You looked everywhere for me? <laughs> From the looks of things, it seems that you replaced me with stupid, idiot, and dumbass. Who are you doing? You dumbass! You piece of shit! You piece of shit! You dropped me for a Come on, go away! Donald, calm down for a moment. What do you mean, Roxas? I didn't throw anyone away. These guys are my friends, true, but you're my best friend. I could never replace you. You're my best friend? Shut the hell up. You hid the truth from me all this time of who I really was. You lied about Gion being a puppet all this time. You were the one that caused Gion to desert the organization. From the way I see things, you were the one that killed her. Wait a minute. I understand that you might be angry with me, but I had a good reason for all of it. It just didn't work out the way I expected. The way I see things, all the choices you made, I suffered all the consequences for them. Why did I have to suffer through all of that, huh? Maybe it was because deep down you don't care about me at all. Now that's just not true! Wait! Who is Xion? You forgot! You forgot! How dare you forget about her! Ugh. What is this vision I'm seeing right now? Oh, I see. It's due to Gion's memories. Well then, Axel, I will give you one last chance. Holy shit, why are there so many nobodies? Crap, this is not good. Sora! You have a choice to make. Either come with me to get the icing on the cake, or save those three yahoos over there. Come on, Roxas. Be reasonable. And I thought you looked everywhere for me. <sighs> Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Huh. I guess you don't care about me. A few minutes later. Oh, all the nobodies are finally gone. Damn it all! Whoa, Axel, are you all right? Does it look like I'm all right? I just lost my friendship with Roxas for good. Hey, don't give up now. The fact that we were able to see Roxas in this data world gives us hope to try and bring him back. What's the point? He already hates me to begin with. Why has everything I've ever done just turned to ash? Damn it! I so was right about everything. Hayner was right. I was afraid to enter this world, and it's because I was afraid of facing Roxas after all that has happened. I didn't want to feel the same pain I felt when I lost Isa, but I guess I returned to that sorrow. Shut! Shut! Fuck! Ah! Holy shit! Remind me to never mess with Donald. Oh, boy, you go for your fucking bullshit! So what you said, you know? Boo-hoo! Draw me a fucking river! But guess what? Nobody really gives a shit about your fucking pig! As for Isha, whoever the fuck that is! You might know him as Syax. Oh, you turned into a finished speaker, boy! Sorry, sir. As for Sids, he said all that shit you just told us now. And that makes you feel sad, huh? Stop feeling sorry for yourself when the befriended won't it. It won't accomplish anything, and the only result will be depression. So if you truly care about Roxas, and all of you are your friends, and you want to be a 
Right, then start throwing your pair and fix that shit head on! Don't let me take over from here. Fine, but I said no reason to what he is saying. Despite Donald's temperament, everything he pretty much said was accurate. From my own personal experience, normally when you are at your lowest point, you are at your most strongest. Because you have nothing more to lose. Look, Axel, I understand the pain of losing a friend. And despite Roxas' speech, he's still here. So there's another chance to bring him back. You're right. I can't stay around here feeling sorry for myself. Nothing is set in stone just yet. And I will never give up on Roxas and Isa. I'll bring them back, even if it's the last thing I do. Perfect, you're finally back to your normal self. Well, it's thanks to you for punching the depression out of me. But I gotta hand it to you. That shit hurt. Well, there's more I got to from if you're ever depressed. Nah, I think it should be okay. All right, with that settled, let's go save Roxas. And then we can watch Big Bird and the Cookie Monster beat the ever-loving shit out of each other. Phenomenal. At least nobody just doesn't want to leave us alone. Many, many minutes later. Oh, damn it, this is gonna take us forever. Well, I don't think we have a choice but to split up. Axel, we'll handle all the nobodies here. You go on ahead and track down Roxas. But I can't leave you alone. Don't worry, sure got us to watch his back. Now go on and get! All right, fine. But before I go, Sora, a word of caution. This isn't the time for that. If you hurt Kyrie in any way, shape, or form, I will find you. And when I do, I will kill you. You're kidding, right? Got it. Memorized. Holy crap, he's serious. Well then, I'll leave this to you. Approximately 10 hours later. I'm at the spot, but I guess he's not here. Simply amazing, Axel. Roxas. You really do care about me this time. I'm so flattered, but you're too late! You freed me, Axel. I don't understand what happened. It's quite simple. You see right when you entered the data world, the computer became corrupted which unleashed a strange dark energy, and that of course affected data Roxas. Wait, so this Roxas isn't real? I'm just made of data. Nothing more, nothing less. But soon, I will be deleted. Wait! To truly bring Roxas back, you have everything you already need. Now it's all up to Sora. I don't understand. What do you mean? When all hope is lost, the real Roxas will return. Got it memorized. Farewell, Data Roxas. Several days later. So, let me get this straight. You saw Roxas in the Data World, but he was a fake. The world got corrupted, and when you left, the Data World blew it to bits? That explosion was something else, wasn't it? My point is, what happened to Roxas? Well, he said that we already have everything we need. And when times are tough, he will appear. Well, even if he did appear, maybe we should create some kind of vessel that can hold Roxas. And maybe the same for Namine. Hold up. Pause and rewind. Where the hell did you come from? Didn't you die? We can discuss all that later. For now, I think we need to get back to work. What the heck? You're the bad guy. What are you doing here? Don't worry. He saved us. He's with Anx from the Y. All I want now is redemption. And so, for all the crimes I've committed, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. This is getting a bit awkward. 
So, Vexen, or what I did to you before, I'm sorry. You're not mad, right? Don't worry. I'm not angry, but I make sure you pay for that when you least expect it. No oh, crap. Axel, even though we still have our differences, and I haven't fully forgiven you yet, I think as of right now, I can put my faith in you to save Roxas. Even if they hate me, I'll be damn sure to bring Roxas and Isa back, because I will never leave a friend hanging. Got it memorized? Yeah. This Kingdom Hearts revive video was absolutely epic. I gotta give a shout out to all the voice actors, figure actors, thumbnail artists, animators, storyboard artists, concept art designers, music composers, sound effect aggregators, and audio aggregators for helping me produce this awesome video. Their info is all in the description, so feel free to check it out. I also have made a decision where I will remake the entire Kingdom Hearts 3 rewrite video series that I've done before in a similar style. And there might be some story changes too, so be prepared for that in the future. Now, for all of you that enjoyed the video, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and stay frosty guys. Stay frosty.